Welcome back to another episode of the Bonnie and Moon here, Pierre Boston Rebirth. I'm your host, Boston, <laughs> and joining me as always is Moon Pierre. Hello. It's one I of have, those uh, weeks, folks. Yeah, I have. Uh, I managed to uh, trap Moon Pierre back in my basement, um, so see, you can, see, you can hear him a little bit better this week. That sounds uh, filthy. Welcome back. Yes. I mean, you. I haven't cleaned in over a year, so. Well, that's true. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's talk about boy this week of dailies. <laughs> Likely my worst week of dailies I think I've ever had, and capped off with my screenshot I sent Moonpeer today of me deleting Bonnie Isaac from my PS4, which yep. thankfully I didn't because I don't want to find all that stuff in the store again. Yeah, well, especially on the PSN store, that's a nightmare uh, from yeah. what I understand. Well, yeah, d- 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 <laughs> I mean. I can always tell it's going to be a good week for me when I get, like, no comment. I, yep. I hate this game. <laughs> oh, my word. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like, yep. just... Because all I see the notifications-wise is the text. So it's like, okay, I, I can I, I, I can be confident here. If I just get hashtag binding moon I'm like, okay, he's done a good run. I need to make sure I'm yeah, on top normal of run. Business as usual. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, I, I, we had... I think we had... Two pretty okay runs this week. Uh, one of them, one of them was Mondays where we got Doctor Fetus pretty early as Maggie. Oh yes, um, that was all right. Yeah, that was a pretty good run. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but was Tuesday's run the Mother's Day run? Yeah, that's what I have in here. My my notes: Mother's Day run question mark Where it's sort of it was Mom's eye lipstick, Mom's pad, and the uh, knife that follows you around. Yes, so I'm guessing that Mother's Day was on that date the first time the daily started happening. So it's right. just programmed like five years to ago. be on that date. <laughs> yeah. Check, check I, what, the, what the date was for Mother's Day five years ago. I bet you it's Tuesday, whatever the it was. Yeah. Um, that was a pretty terrible run because there were no item rooms. Nope, not a single one of them. That it, I hate those dailies. <laughs> me too. That's, that's, that's not, not a good time. No, it's really, really not. I still took it, though, so I'm happy. Woo. Yeah, I didn't. Let's just assume you sort of took every <laughs> every run this week. I think the funny thing is it's closer than it should be because yesterday I took the week at, like, 4-2. So mm-hmm. if I <laughs> I can post it, probably the best, best or worst score I've ever done on a Sunday run and take it this week. Yeah. So... Uh, the only run I lo- really liked this week was Thursday's Eden run. Uh, unfortunately, only went to Mom. I wish it went deeper, but it, uh, you started with D100. Um, yeah. So that's my sort of run. I eventually stuck with Tech X, Infestation 2, and Conjoined, which is just I, an unstoppable run. I was an idiot. I, pr- I think, to be honest, I would have had that day because I think on that day that was like 20. 20- we were close. I know that much. But mm-hmm. I went into boss room and the stuff in boss boss rush room. There was nothing really worth picking up. No. And I made the mistake of picking up the reflected tears just to see what effect it has on the tech X oh, because I did. No. I ended up sticking with tech X as well on that run. And then what it does, what tech what tech X and reflected tears does, it makes the actual laser circles expand. A little bit slower, but move so much quicker. So Hmm. you don't get that sustained damage of the laser traveling over them slowly. It just basically just goes whoop straight past them. So (sighs) you've got to fire so much more to take out on boss rush as well. Tap 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 tap. (laughs) Yes. So I think I could have taken it, but I didn't, unfortunately. But yeah, that was where you started staging your comeback, and you're like, yeah, I'm going to take this, and then you took Friday. It's like, oh, I need a good Saturday. And I got no comment on Saturday. So I was like, yes. Yeah, just Lilith on Saturday was not the character I needed to do a run with. Mm -hmm. And it was Lilith on Saturday and Blue Baby today on Sunday. I was just like, you know what? Was that? Feast or Famine Day. Yeah, like I just, I'm normally fine with both of those. But man, I was off this week with Isaac every single day and those were not the ways i wanted to finish off the week yeah well right that i get to take the week yay 
Congratulations. Yeah, I'm good. Um, but yeah, don't, I, like I don't understand the Mother's Day one, but it wasn't. It was a. It was a not. A, it wasn't a remarkable week, but it wasn't a, a BS week either. I think it was just yeah. a case of out of form for the both of us kind of thing. Yeah, that's a good point, because all the runs were fine. Like, none of them were sort of like, you started as Eden with number one and one red, uh, one spirit heart. I was like, well, that's... Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to die very quickly. They were just fine runs. I just couldn't get it together the whole yeah. week. Oh, well, look at me. The last two weeks, it's, I've been the exact same. It's like walking into a room and die instantly. It's just, yeah. Yeah. You know, it happens occasionally. Uh, shall we talk about progress? Sure, I have made none this week. <laughs> I unlocked the stud finder this week. Hey, nice. Which means I completed the brains challenge. Hey, congratulations. Which means I have one challenge left, and then I get a sweet, sweet Chivo. Uh, and it should be an easy challenge, I'm hoping, uh, with Pride Day. All I need is a little bit yeah. of damage upgrade, and I'll be fine. Yeah. But, yeah, let's talk about my brains build, shall we? Okay. How <laughs> about... Halfway through the run, I was f- I was feeling confident, like whole bunch of spirit hearts, doing a good job of doing the chain combination. Where it's yeah, like got your one. timing down. Yeah, feeling pretty good about it. And then all of a sudden, I went into I picked up chaos at some point, and then Ooh, I okay. went into a devil deal room, and sitting right there was tear blast. Ooh! So I traded three spirit hearts for tear blast. Okay. It was worth it because at that by that point I had picked up so much damage upgrades that I was getting a nice big like Samson fully raged out size uh, shot. Right. And every time I something exploded one of my brains, it did the tear blast. Oh, I don't think I knew that that synergized. Wow. I did, I did not know. I took the risk. I thought if this synergizes with the brain, it's going to be amazing. If it doesn't, I'm going to be in trouble. Yeah. Luckily, it synergized with it really, really nice. Oh, uh, so I'm going through. I'm enjoying my time, and then I thought, "Oh, is you know, is that that's rubber cement? I'll pick up rubber cement. It's going to be great because then the, the oh, boards no. will come out, and then they'll start bouncing yeah. off all the walls, and it'll be great." No, it was Ip- Ipecac. Oh no! Well, you got a big damage upgrade at least. Yeah. So, but the problem is, I'm then firing. I had, I think, at that point, I had picked up. Uh, Tammy's body as well oh no (laughs) so literally the last two floors of the challenge was me firing one brain and running for a corner and doing my best (laughs) to hide as literally the brain exploded into an enemy that fired out like eight bullets which then exploded which then fired four more which exploded again oh no I was just like "Mm, yeah uh, please, enough health to get me. Jesus, this. take the wheel. <laughs> yes, it was definitely one of those moments. But thankfully, I actually made it through it. And I think I made it through it with like two spirit hearts left when I actually. Because oh, wow. it's a run to the lamb as well, I believe, is the brains challenge. Yeah, it goes. Yeah, I think it goes all the way. So I was. It's No, it's not the lamb, it's the other way. It's Blue Baby. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I was just by the end of that challenge, I was like, I'm going to die again on the chest floor because it's the third right. time in a week I made it to the chest floor and then died. So oh, I man. was not very pleased, but I made it. I did it. I completed the challenge. I'm so happy. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> and unfortunately, you get a pretty crappy uh, trinket for it. Yep. Stud finder. I don't even know what stud finder does. It's that. It's supposed to find you more crawl spaces when you bomb rocks. Um, okay, so either so like, either like actual crawl spaces with the ladders, or just the the passages. holes down on the next floor. So yeah. that would be a good that would synergize pretty well with um, either Leo or the Bucket of Lard, where you can just crumple over the, all the rocks. Yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. But I, it by the doesn't. Way, do it super often, so it's almost. Oh, so it's basically not a great. Bit shim sham snake oil salesman kind of thing. Well, it's it's a lot like um, <clears throat> it reminds me a lot of um, Golden Horseshoe. <laughs> it's cat bath time. Yep. Um, reminds me of Golden Horseshoe, 
where it's fine and like the intended effect is fine, but it happens so rarely that it really kind of doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, I, at this point, I don't care. I unlocked it. I, that's all I needed. Yeah, I need to you're get done. That, I need to get that line through that challenge. Now, literally, I was going to try and do Pride Day this morning, but then I got roped into playing a different game. So yeah, uh, I'll probably be doing Pride Day this week. And then literally that leaves one thing left. One thing left for me to do the in keeper. that game. The k- 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 keeper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And the oh, k- 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 keeper might be my k- 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 combo breaker because that's right. I hate playing as the keeper so much. Yeah, I my most successful runs honestly were the ones that I got Swallow Penny on. You know, mm-hmm. bombing bombing as many pots as I could on the first floor or two floors. Yeah, if I didn't get Swallow Penny, I, I it's doable, but it's so, so hard. hard. Mm-hmm. Um. You said you didn't make any more progress. This is pretty much the end no. of my progress for this week. So I just want to do a really quick shout out to uh, T Bomb Rocks and um, X Brainy to X Rob, um, mm-hmm. who two members of our community. Who <laughs> I feel kind of bad because T Bomb T Bomb's owned Isaac for a while, and I think we've discussed he's he bounces off it every now and again. Yeah, I've been talking to him this week on Discord about Isaac <laughs> <laughs> and. Rob was it, he was interested in the game, but he was never going to drop down the money for it. So somebody may have accidentally purchased him a copy of it on the Xbox and sent it over to him. As Moonpeer pointed himself. Yes. Uh, so we actually had a really cool night. I think it was Tuesday night or Wednesday night. We all sat there in a party playing the game in, on, on our individual screens, talking about it. But then Rob made a, a team made a run and streamed it. So I watched him and. He was asking questions, but I'm, I'm doing what I think you would do, which is I'm aiding where I can, but not giving away the game, so to speak. Yeah, like you want to hint as much as you can without saying like, oh, you just need to beat mom X more times and you'll unlock X, Y, and Z. Yes, exactly. So I was doing that with him. And then while after watching him do a couple of runs, Rob started playing. Uh, they both unlocked Azazel, and I was trying to explain to them why Azazel is my favorite character. Super high damage right. output, you know, really flight, got flight <laughs> from the get go, which can save you yeah. a whole bunch of trinkets and stuff. And then Rob was talking about his run, so he tried to run as Azazel, and he picked up the Ludo Vegan technique. Oh, I love it with Brimstone. Oh, uh-huh. it's so good. So he picked that up and I said, okay, Rob, you need to pause this right now because you've never defeated Mom before mm-hmm. yeah, and you need to stream this so I can watch it because this is either going to be the cakeiest cakewalk of success or yep. you are going to F this up in such a way that it's going to be <laughs> hilarious. So you yep. need to stream it right now. So oh, man. we jumped in and watched him actually go in and beat Mom uh, for the first time, I believe, as well. And T actually made progress on it as well, beating Mom for the first time. Yeah. So. Come on, boys. Start yeah. unlocking that stuff. You've got 54 yeah. weeks <laughs> and counting. I was um, I was talking to T-Bomb uh, on Discord about it, and I, I, it reminds me how much I like games like this when you have a couple, like a small community of people or, or a couple of friends that are all playing the game at the same time where you can go to the wiki or you can go to Platinum God and you can, like, see what an item does and you can see all this stuff, but... I feel like it's so much more fun if you have, like, that playground experience. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, man, I picked up this item, and I picked up that item, and I was this guy, and it turned into this crazy thing. And you almost don't want to believe them until you do it, and you're like, ah, yeah. he was right. This is awesome. That's actually something I scolded Rob about because T was following our uh, methods and not looking anything mm-hmm. up. Rob was looking things up the second he picked them up, at which yeah. point I named and shamed him, and he agreed to no longer be looking <laughs> items up. Well, one of my favorite things when you pick up new items in Isaac is you fire a couple shots and you're like, okay, this hasn't changed my tears. That is either going to be really good or really bad. Like, if you yep. if it changes your tears, you know immediately what it has done. If it doesn't, I feel like you're in for some sort of horrible carnival ride. Yes, <laughs> just... exactly. It's like picking up the cursed eye. At some point, like, you pick up the cursed eye. Yep. And you realize what that thing does, which Rob is actually very lucky because on his Azazel 
uh, Ludo Vigian technique run, he picked up the cursed eye, and oh, I wow. burst out laughing and said to him, "You are if this synergizes with this, you are in so much trouble. If it doesn't, yeah. you're going to be okay." And luckily, I think the Ludo Vigian cancels it out because you don't have to charge yeah. anymore. Man. Well, at least he got it checked off of his completion list. <laughs> exactly. Don't ever have to pick Man. that up again. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I think the the thing to um to remember for anybody that's listening that maybe doesn't play Bonding of Isaac or is just getting started, there's no real bad time to start Isaac. No. Um it's even if you don't look at the many resources out there, which Moon and I still encourage you to to kind of uh, we're not going to, you know, say one way or another, but I, you I find it wrong by looking things up. Right. I, I think the most fun way to play it, and sort of the intended way of playing, is sort of like, well, I've never seen that, so let's pick it up. Oh, this is whoops, this is terrible, or or yay, this is awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's the thing that I um that I encourage with everyone is the the internet has a really bad habit of saying, oh, you suck at this game, you need to get good, when Instead, the thing about Isaac isn't get good. It's just you need to play a lot. You need that experience. You need to build up your flow chart. You just sort of need to get experience with the game, and it will it will reward you for getting that experience. Um, yeah, exactly. And I still think Isaac is probably one of the best examples of just keep at it, keep playing, and it, it sort of keeps unfolding more and more over time. And it's just... It's so good. Yeah, it really is. 545 yeah. hours at last count, by the way. Yeah. I, I'm glad PS4 doesn't keep track, because I was telling Moonpear that I've been playing it for almost five years now, mm-hmm. um, and the amount of time just to get real Platinum God was probably a little crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and that's yeah. what I'm aiming for now, so... Yeah. It's great, you know. I was actually, um, I, I don't, I don't want to call the internet out for for being crappy, but this is sort of funny because, you know, we're putting the game on the surface seems expensive. If you go to buy it nowadays, it's about forty bucks mm-hmm. um, for a quote unquote indie game. Um, the Switch version is also forty dollars. Um, I think either physical or digital. I might be a little bit wrong on that. It was on sale on on Switch for like thirty five bucks, and the number of people on Twitter commenting about, "Oh my God, that's like thirty dollars too expensive." Still, I can't believe this game is forty bucks. And I'm just thinking, like, I have like five hundred hours on the on the Steam version that I don't play. Yep. <laughs> so like, I just just the the quote unquote value proposition uh, for Isaac is just incredible. Um, yeah, but you you need someone there to tell you like you beat mom for the first time, the game isn't done. You know, like yeah. you have to. There's there's so much more for you to do. You just kind of have to keep chipping away at it. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like you need a gentle pointer in the right way. But the game's yep. been out so long that it's hard to find a gentle pointer and not just open the book to the last page and be like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, thankfully, um, the new update, the uh, forgotten update for Afterbirth Plus does a little bit of that stuff. Like, to unlock Apollyon now, you have to have beaten Mega Satan at least once. Mm-hmm. Um, so it, it does those hints a little bit better now, which I like. Um, and, you know, obviously the, the three hidden characters are going to be uh, a little bit more hidden than, than other ones, but... Including the new one, which I really wish I had time to unlock because I would like to play as him. But yep. since he is so radically different, um, but unfortunately, time's not on my side right now. Oh, right there with you. Yeah, uh, and actually, time is not on this show's side because we're done for this week. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening. Uh, I'd like to welcome Moonpeer back to the basement, and thank you um, for joining me again. I'll get you next time, gadget. Yeah, and uh, we'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.